farmers markets. We all know of them, so why do we choose the grocery store instead? The most simple answer is that farmers markets just can't compete with the constantly growing grocery industry. But what is at the base of this problem, and what can I do? I'm Kayla Hamilton, and this was my journey. One word, convenience. In our modern society, everyone always takes the most convenient road, and farmers markets just can't compete with that kind of mindset. Since markets only appear on certain days, people don't have the patience to wait for their shopping. My first thought was that if markets could appear more often, it would be more convenient for people to choose them over a grocery store. Then I did some digging. I went to Chili Acre Farms for a chat with someone who's consistently a vendor at Phoenix Markets to get an additional perspective. So right now we're only attending two markets, those are our two permanent markets, they're both in the Phoenix area, um, but during the holidays we'll attend up to as many as six markets a week, um, and right now that's we're just sticking with the two because that's what we have um, for employees and baking time. Okay. Alright. So, secondly, do you think the farmer's market, like, overall, as kind of like a general thing, would benefit from having it more often, like, in the same place, or, like, do a lot of the vendors go to different ones multiple times a week? Um, a lot of the vendors actually attend a market every day. I think, um, the bigger the business, the more, um, they can afford to go to each market. Like I said, we live pretty far out of town, so it's a, it's a long haul for us to go in. Um, I think that a lot of the reason why, um, markets are failing right now is because there's so many. I think they're pretty common, but there's a market every day anywhere in the valley. You know, like even three years ago, there was half as many markets. Okay. You know, so the, the downtown Phoenix market used to have every vendor, you know, you had every vendor in the valley. Um, but as they make more markets, it gets closer to people's homes, they don't have to drive as far. Um, so it's really convenient for the customer and for the vendor, but it as a whole kind of makes all of the markets make slowly less and less. Whoa. Hold it right there. This completely changed my farmer's markets don't appear often enough idea. At this point, I guessed a few changes were in order. Let's see what else she has to say. Uh, uh, the Wednesday market, for example, at Town & Country, I have at least 10 people a day say, oh, I didn't even know there was a market here. You know, okay. and these are people who, um, you know, buy something from the, you know, usually every vendor, they buy 10 or $15 worth of stuff from me, you know, and that I can definitely tell um, when I hear that more, I make more money. You know, when okay. new people learn about it, um, so I, I definitely think spreading the word, finding a better way to advertise about farmers markets is, I don't know, needed. Understanding the drivers of the problem can help us interpret the main problem. Just like any local setup, farmers markets face a few barriers. Some include that local farmers markets tend to be more expensive. People want faster, cheaper food. Larger enterprises are more available and abundant. Not a lot of people know about local farms. The most convenient food is what is most often bought. And, as a subgroup of that, farmers markets don't happen enough for people to want wait for their shopping. You may be wondering, what's so great about the markets? Why do I shop at the farmers markets? I like to support locally grown produce and local farmers. I also like the idea that they work in a sustainable system where they hopefully don't use um, chemicals or only use those that, are, those that are absolutely necessary. So if I prefer something that has a, what we call, what is it, a, a small carbon footprint, that means it has been trucked in from, or flown in or boated in from, you know, way far enough country, if it's something we can produce locally in season, those are healthier and have a, a smaller carbon footprint out in the general um, vicinity of the world, that is where I like to put my money is supporting something that's healthier and local and less, less chemically laden and less carbon generated. We've gotten used to, uh, Americans have gotten used to nice shiny apples. And, and that's, that's not, I mean, if you were to go to the farm, you, you wouldn't see it that way. And I think that we need to get back to you know, just eating what is, apple juice. Apple juice that you buy in a grocery store is not real apple mm -hmm. juice. It looks nothing like apple juice that is pressed from the apples on the farm. So much better. 
Yes, totally. Which is another reason I go to farmers market because it, it, it's just it's better. It's it's, it's it's good, and it doesn't pander to our, our notion of, of what's supposed to be good. Just because it's nice, big, and green, those tomatoes don't have as good nutritional value as the smaller one that hasn't been messed with. All right. I like shopping at the farmer's market for a couple of reasons. One, Phoenix is agriculture based, so why not buy what's here? And it's a little fresher, it might not be perfectly round or perfectly shaped for um, what we have become to call normal, but um, the flavor is so much better and I get to meet the farmers themselves and ask them questions directly. I really, really like that and a lot of times I can get other items that I wouldn't be able to get at the store because I've uh, become just, they become part of almost my family. They're, the vendors are so excited when I come in and ask for certain things and then um, that was the other part, just the relationship that I've developed through the years. Excited when I come in and ask for certain things and then um, that was the other part, just the relationship that I've developed through the years with a lot of the farmers. It's, it's more than shopping. It's, uh, it's become <coughs> my, mm -hmm. it's a community. Yes, exactly. Okay. I like shopping at the farmer's market because um, I enjoy um, seeing produce in straight from the people who grew it. I enjoy um, seeing the wider variety of foods that are what, than what's available um, at grocery stores. You know, at the big supermarkets, you'll see the same five types of produce all year round. Whereas at the farmer's market, you get to see what's available in season and um, lots of different kinds of produce, things that you wouldn't normally see in the, farmers, in the um, large supermarkets. Um, I like the social nature of going to the farmer's market. Um, it's a different kind of clientele, a different feel. The, sort, the types of people who go there are people who desire more community, you know, people who want to get to know you better. And um, so in addition to meeting the farmers, you also see people in your community, the people that are around you, and, you know, have more opportunity for socialization there. Next, I asked myself, what are other people doing? I teamed up with Connie Cada to visit Local First Arizona and find out. So uh, through a variety of uh, avenues, we work to advocate um, on behalf of local and independent businesses. First of all, we reach out to the consumers and individuals, and um, we're out in the community practically every day um, talking to people face-to-face, -face, um, telling them the benefits of supporting local and independent businesses, just getting them to think about supporting local first uh, instead of going right to the chain store that may be more convenient. And so we give them all the statistics that, from studies about um, up to four times more dollars staying in the local community, shopping local creates a more prosperous and happy environment for everyone. Um, and so we reach out to them face to face and also we have a strong online presence as well. Farmers markets um, actually in the past uh, I think five or eight years have grown in prominence. I think they've, the number of farmers markets in the uh, country have doubled and we definitely work to advocate um, for supporting local farmers and eating local food for example. Uh, one of the reasons is it's more sustainable. Um, you have less travel time, but if you're not importing bell peppers from Chile, um, then it's less resource intensive when uh, you only have to transport those fruits and vegetables from a few miles away. So uh, we also have a list of farmers markets in our online directory as well. I talked with Connie about affecting the situation and realized the best way to make a difference was to impact the consumers, not the vendors, because as buyers, they are the ones that hold the power. Connie and I prepared a presentation for several farmers market supporters to inform them of the problem and what they could do to help. Here is a segment of our demonstration. Markets only appear on certain days, making it less convenient for people to appear and buy local produce. So, basically, how we got here was uh, we made a poem constellation, which usually looks something like this with the main um, problem, and then it leads out into your root cause, and then you find stakeholders within each root cause. Mm -hmm. What's a stakeholder? It's you guys. So, you guys are stakeholders, and then the vendors are stakeholders, basically, people that are impacted by the problem. Okay. 
negatively or positively. Yes. So, um, okay. The step two, you try to figure out how exactly you can understand the problem more. And when we looked at this, we found that the drivers of the problem were usually local food that it tends to be more expensive. Um, people want it faster and cheaper. So, because of the first swept thing, it doesn't really work out so well. Fiber enterprises and corporations are more available and more abundant, and they also have more advertising. And not a lot of people know about local farms. And the most convenient food is what is most often bought, and farmers markets don't have enough for people to want to wait for shopping. But then, <laughs> um, I went to Chile Acre Farms and Mom was there, and we found out that contrary to what we had originally believed, it's not the farmers markets appear only on certain days, it's that one appears every single day, almost anywhere in the valley, and um, that since they're so spread out, like they used to be a lot more centralized and all the vendors in the valley would be at one farmer's market and everybody would go there, but now that they're all kind of all over the place and scattered, the amount of money that farmer's markets in general like in Phoenix is making over time is getting lower because little people, like there's some people going to this one, some people going to this one, but the vendors are too spread out and they're not all centralized. So it, as overall, it's kind of making it hard to make less money. Did you discover the reason why they became so decentralized? Because you're right, mm -hmm. I'm used to farmers markets which is one location and they all come to it and this is what, and it is daily, so it's not spread out. Mm -hmm. And this is a bit different. I go to the one that's on 20th Street as opposed to the one that's downtown. And have right. you discovered why they do that as opposed well, to, is it? It's because they believe that if they impact more areas around where they know they don't have as much competition, they think that they can attack there, but it doesn't go so well just because of what we said earlier. That, that sounds like um, when, when Jana left the one at the market at Central, the other farmers said it's not going to be good for us having her leave because people come for her and they still come for us. So they didn't see each other's competition, they saw each other as it's a huge community that brings them up rather than yeah. As a conclusion, we provided a few ideas on what they could do to tip the balance towards preventing the collapse of farmers' markets. Armed with information, the people we educated will go out into the world and spread the word to their friends, to their families, and I know that together, we can make a difference. Thank you.